Hi, welcome to Kick Cup of Review. This is a video I wanted to post on a new Shogun Warrior item I've just picked up. Uh, this Shogun Warrior item is specific to one Shogun Warrior, and that is Mazinga. And these wings clip onto the back of him, and they really, really just completely change the whole dynamic of your Mazinga figure, your Shogun Warrior. I highly recommend these. I picked them up from a fellow fellow on eBay and uh, they were a very fair and decent price forty dollars shipping and handling free this is the fin that can that will attach to the wings themselves so there is some assembly required and it's beautifully cast I'm no expert in casting but it's beautiful uh, this attaches very easily you just slot it in like so and pops into place the engine pieces here these are stickers they're very nice and it just adds a whole new dynamic to your Mazinga it's I want to mention too it's also nice that this piece is detachable so you can have him standing against a wall or in a showcase um, where you don't have to worry about this this big piece um, adding extra extra room you can't you can't fit him around really nice take a look at the clips that go around his hips these are nice as well they fold up and they fold down and it clips on to Mazinga's hips and it just he just looks badass with these on one one drawback actually two at least for me is when I put this on my Mazinga and I would walk around this piece would move and clang or make that noise against Mazinga's back I probably I'm probably gonna add some sticky felt like a little black piece to Mazinga on his shoulder shoulder blade area to so I don't have to hear that every time I walk around this thing one other issue is when you clip these on Mazinga's hips are slanted at an angle and the edge of the clip here both sides is just straight up and down so when I put this on my Mazinga this top corner piece on both sides particularly this side scraped away part of the Mazinga decal on his hips not a big deal um, but I wanted to give you a heads up if you're gonna put this on your Mazinga it may cause some damage might be able to get around this by sanding the top corner there of each one as it's going to come into contact with Mazinga's hips. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what I'm talking about then I'll be right back. This is the damage part right here right on the hips it's not too big and like I said once the the pieces on around the hip you really can't see that however it's just a warning and a heads up that this thing will possibly damage your Mazinga I think part of the problem is the clips are straight up and down and the hips on Mazinga himself itself are curved at an angle so this area up here you can see where it scraped it on the other side too is in the closer contact with the clips and here I have the wings attached to my Mazinga and it really adds a whole new dynamic to this figure just amazing um, but as you can see here the clamp 
comes into contact with the hips because of the angle. And this side right here is a side that did a lot of damage. Of course, like I said, you can't see it once it's on, but still it's there. And there's that noise that I'll probably have to fix with some felt because as you walk by, it's clanging on the back there. Um, I might be able to fix this just by sanding sanding both points right here on the clips. However, if you do that too much, you're not going to have a good seal and this whole thing may may just fall off the figure. This is the area down in here where it just clangs. Not fun. I still recommend this to you. Uh, I love how it makes my figure look. I will be restoring him in the future. So please stay tuned for that. And we'll see you on the next one.